Hey guys, this is Eric back with another simple quick Houdini tutorial. This is not meant to go in depth. This is just meant to give you a quick example of how UV texturing works. And I'm going to show you how to project a picture onto a onto geometry. It's real simple, real easy. There's a lot more to it, but I'm going to show you how this works. Let me grab a quick render here so you can see what we got. Now as you can see, we have our texture mapped to our geometry and we have our light in there and stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's start fresh. Let's bring in our box. Now we have our box, okay? The first thing I want to do is go into our shop network, which is our shader operators. Let's go to our shop network. Now inside our shop network is where we want to add um, our materials and stuff. So I'm going to tab in. Now as you notice, after you hit tab, there's Mantra, Mental Ray, Render Man. We're just fooling with Mantra because that's what we're rendering with Mantra. Go to Mantra Surfaces or just type Super Material, Vex Super Material. Now this Vex Super Material is great. It's a really good material and I'm going to show you, show you why. So now there we go. We have our Super Material down here. Now up here in our properties, you can change the diffuse color, specular color. If you want to change the diffuse color to green, the box would be green and specular color would be yellow. And when the light shines on it, it would be yellow and it would interact and change the colors would be different. Um, that's just for going about changing colors, but we want to map a texture to this. So let's go to our texture tab. Go to our, our diffuse map and let's open up our file browser and let's find our picture. We'll use the same one I had. Okay, now in our diffuse map box here, it has our file path. So now let's go back up to our object level and click back into our box object. Okay, now inside this box object is where we want to add our material. So let's right click on your output and start typing material now I've appended a material node to my box node so let's go into my material node and tell it what material I want to use so I'm going to go up here to material tab click this and I'm going to choose my operator super material click accept and when I do that and make the material node visible you see it turns a dark green okay so now we need to do one more thing in between our material and our box right click on the box output and start typing UV texture okay hit return and boom that throws our texture onto our box let's go back up to object level and now as you can see we have our texture mapped to our geometry. Okay? Now, in our other, the very first render that I had here, I just had a light, a point light on it, and it was casting a shadow, which is no big deal. We can go over lights in another video. But basically, what I wanted to do was show you how this worked, how it worked to map and project a texture onto geometry. So if you wanted to add a light, you can add a light, you can add a point light, a spotlight. It just really depends on what you want to do. Let's turn this around here. Now we have a a light on it here. So let's render this out well let's cast shadows we'll go to our shadows tab we'll say ray traced shadows turn our light intensity up a little and we'll render out to see what we got and there we go there's our te the texture geometry with our shadow and uh, you just need to go in and tweak this stuff with your shadow and stuff you can make the shadow intensity higher smaller you can make it the softness, the quality. It really just need to get in here and play with it. It's really up to you guys what you want it to look like, how you want it to look. And you can see we have a shadow, a different angle here. Let's spin around this way and render one last time. And there we go. There's our texture map geometry in just as little as just a few minutes. So I hope you've took something from this, guys. I really do. Um, 
I hope you can apply it to the way that to things that you might need to apply it to and in our next video I'm going to go over how to make a custom desktop for your own needs okay so this is texture mapping simple texture mapping in Houdini and we'll see you next time